Well, bring out the gimp. Break the gimp. Talking about the shrieker. That's it, Roach. We can have it the peasants' coops now. You've got it. You, white one. Think your two swords could take on forty. to water the horses. Come on.
Doug went in the kitchen, stole a hunk of meat. Cook gave him a licking, strung him by his feet. Cooked and bled him empty, stripped his skin off clean. Laughed and said how tasty, best sausage I have seen. Cook's a stupid killer, shouldn't have ate the pup. Now we light a fire, gonna roast him up. One, two, three, the one to fetch the kindlings, thee! Interesting rhyme. I don't know you. Go away. I'm looking for the witches of Crookback Bog. You look like a witch yourself. Uh, witches? Of the bog? We can't go in the bog. Gran don't let us. When my brother Zamek went missing, Gran said it was because he went in the woods and got lost. Gran cried an awful lot after that. You could still come back. What are you doing out here alone? He's not alone. He's with Gran. But where did you all come from? We's orphans. All of you? There's a war. So there's orphans. Didn't know that. A young woman got lost in the swamp. She has ashen hair and a scar on her face. You kids see anyone like that? Ain't no lassies here. What am I? You're no lassie. Lassies got tits. They do. Heard an old man say once, when the army was here, he says, I them lassies in the woods. They dazzling the soldiers with their tits. And it's torturing the poor lads. That's what he said. Listen. The girl I'm looking for, she's in trouble. I understand you might not want to help me, but you could try to help her. How do you know she was here? I heard she visited the witches in the swamp. But there's no witches here. There's only frogs. And snakes. And Johnny. What's this talk? What kind of jabbering is this, eh? No one allowed here. Just kids. My kids. They're allowed. But who are you? Wearing swords like a bandit. Who's Johnny? Johnny, Johnny ate a cat. Come the more in some furry shot. Watch your language. They tell tales and tales, nor but tales. Are you one of the witches of the swamp? I hear Crookback Bog. Witch? Me? Nay, I've no broom nor owl and not one wart on me nose. Got a pretty nose, see? Gwen's got a lovely beak. Oh, you darling girl. Our oh, kids are so sweet. You look after these kids? They're my grandchildren. Gran's good to us. Gonna be soup with scratchings for supper. Kids get lost in the woods. I miss them. Seen them in the woods. No one has. Just talking to the kids. Asked them if they'd seen a young woman. Oh, it was a lovely young woman. Wore a long, beautiful braid my mummy did up for me. Had dresses with flowers on them. Maybe you've seen her. Young, ashen hair. Your betrothed. Daughter, actually. Daughter? My dear, sweet little daughter. And her sister. 
Where are they now? Maybe they've come to some harm. A bit of help, please. A young ashen-haired woman just need to know if you've seen her. What are you looking at, children? Wash your hands, we'll go catch crickets. Won't learn anything from you. Aye, because I don't know nothing. That Johnny knows. He knows a lot. When I ask him something, he says, Wait, I'll scratch my arse and tell you. Ugly word. What you saying? To the hut. You'll stand in the corner. I'll make sure you do. You. Be gone. Be gone. Come in here. Not allowed in here. I just want to talk to the boy. Not allowed. It's not allowed. He won't talk to you anyway. Gran don't like you. And and Johnny's made up. And, and strangers steal kids. Just got one question for you. Don't be asking no questions. You're a stranger. Not allowed to talk to strangers. Can we eat now? Suit with scratchings. You hear? Says he's afraid of you. Stop scaring my kids. Why don't you want to talk about Johnny? One of you knows about him. The others must too. It's just him who's pals with Johnny. They pick mushrooms and hunt snails. But Gran says Johnny's made up. Have any of you ever seen Johnny? Of course. Looks just like him. Then why do you say he's made up? Gran says so. And Gran knows lots. Does your Gran treat you right? She ever hurt you? Never. When we're bad, she cries. She's scared. Says strangers might take us. And we'll disappear. The boy who plays with Johnny. He must be brave. Not brave, just stupid. Sat his bare bum on an anthill once. But yeah, he plays with Johnny. He don't listen to Gran and goes in the woods, and then he's got to have a time out. And he eats snails. Yuck. The girl I mentioned is in danger. You gotta help me get your Gran away from the hut so I can talk to Johnny's friend. All right, but you've got to do something for us too. Play hide and seek. Gran never does. Says her feet hurt. Let's play. You hide, but if I find you, you have to help me talk to the boy who knows Johnny. He thinks he'll find us easy. Means he's never hid from the black ones. No looking, and you have to count out loud. All your fingers, toes, too. One, two, three, eighteen, nineteen. Twenty. Ready or not, here I come. Found you. You can stop hiding. How'd you find me? There you are. No fair. I'm supposed to win. See you. Come out.
Guess that's everyone. Found you all. You don't play right. But we'll help. Come on, let's talk to the others by the cottage. Found you all. Now you gotta keep your word and help me talk to Johnny's friend. Why wouldn't we? Promise, didn't we? Gran! Gran! Bumblebee bit Yagner in the arse! Gran! Come! Don't be afraid. Don't know nothing. I won't hurt you. Where's Gran? She's busy. Why are you scared to talk? I'm not scared of nothing. You're all scared of something. Would have told me about Johnny otherwise. I'm worried about Johnny. He don't come round no more. Once, when we was mushroom picking, I saw his burrow, but Gran yelled at me, said not to talk to strangers, cause then kids go missing. She worries about Johnny too, though she says he's made up. Where are you and your friend's parents? Dad, some starved, others were killed, like mine. One day, we went out at dawn to look for berries in the woods. Still some around back then. When I was coming home, I heard the yells. Then, laughing, went up and hid in the bushes near the woods. My mum yelled, and the soldiers laughed. Lay my pot down by the bird door. Is it clean off? And then my mum. It's all right. That's enough. I just want to talk to Johnny. He could know more than you. Not gonna hurt him, right? Because he's real. He's not made up. I'm not gonna hurt him. Johnny used to be boy, because Gran liked listening to his songs. When we was picking mushrooms, Johnny said he saw a girl with ashen hair in the swamp. Where can I find Johnny? There's a little meadow on the edge of the swamp. This strange tree grows there. Look around. You'll see him. Thank you. Johnny's real. He must leave Prince. Small footprint. Johnny's been through here.
If Johnny's real, he must leave Prince. Small footprint. Johnny's been through here. Not your lucky day. lead to a burrow. Wonder what's inside. Johnny? Don't be afraid. Looking for a woman with ashen hair. Seen her? Tell me everything from the start. Where did you see her? What was she doing? It's important to me. Why not? You know the kids from the clearing well? Don't be afraid. Not gonna hurt anyone. What's wrong? Can't talk? Why? Lost your voice? Can I help you somehow? Want me to follow you? No choice, I guess.
Stay close to me. the place? Let me look around. Something's on the ledge? Something that'll get you your voice back? Guess I gotta make this climb. Piper picked Prince Proximo a pack of pickled peppers by the Pontar. <laughs> Done celebrating? My favorite words! Life without savoring the sound of surreptitious shenanigans is like licking snails through a cloth. Thank you for this, noble whoever you are. Long be your life. Hang on a minute. I helped you, now you help me. Would you turn this beautiful act of altruism into a banal bartering of favors? How do you lose your voice? One morning I awoke and opened my mouth for my usual bout of singing with the thrushes. Lo and behold, no sound escaped. I tried and tried, almost burst a blood vessel. Then I went to the village, because word has it the new cunning woman works miracles. But people began crying out, a smudger, a smudger, and sick their dogs on me. Do I look like a smudger to you? Not a bit. Well, I thought not. So it must be the crones doing. Who else would curse me? Blackbird friend of mine located my voice, but I was helpless to retrieve it. Couldn't ask a raven friend to just give you the bottle? Ravens serve the crones. They don't help no one. How do you lock someone's voice in a bottle? Just wondering. As am I, especially as mine's a voice to crown all voices. Sometimes it's like a forest brook. At others, like a roll of thunder. And let's be honest, I talk enough to fill three barrels or more. Somebody used some powerful magic on you, as a prank or just to be mean. I'm looking for a young, ashen-haired woman, 
See anyone like that? Did I ever? Remember it as if it were yesterday. Soon as I woke, I went to empty my bowels. My favorite part of the day. Defecating to the sunrise, downright glorious. Suddenly, heard a bang. So loud, it couldn't have been me. And that lass appeared, out of nowhere. Young, ashen-haired, just like you said. Wounded and panting to boot. She raced off towards the children's huts, quick as if the crones were after her. I yelled some unpleasantries. She disturbed my morn. Sadly, I'd lost my voice, so I don't think she heard me. What do you know about the crones? They're as old as this forest. Cruel, vindictive, not to be crossed. What if someone does cross them? Might take his voice, might take his life. Depends on their whim. They're nasty, although they care for this land and its folk in their own way. Supposedly, they always keep their word, but you must be careful what you ask for. Won't find them until they want to be found. See them until they want to be seen. But remember, they see and hear all that happens in the mire. I've been to the village in the swamp, met a woman who might have been a crone. Did she seem confused to you? Nuts, completely. Oof, so I'm not crazy. That's no crone. That's the granny who takes care of the orphans. Claims the kids made me up. Me! An orphanage in a swamp? What do you have against swamps? Lived here my whole life, and I heartily recommend it. She ran off toward the orphanage. Kids could know something. Or the old woman who takes care of them. Oh, that old hag don't speak to strangers. And you're a stranger. Will she talk to you? I have spoken to her. Got my ways. So be it. You helped me and I'm no bore. Come with me. It's clear, not a crone in sight. I need to sing to Gran. That ought to calm her. Little Johnny softly gazed, fire waning pale. Pop a spark jumped out and whispered, Listen, I tell. 
You... got your voice back. I did. Though I seem to have lost an octave somewhere in the process. I shall look for it when I get home. You're not allowed here, Johnny. You shouldn't have come. Calm down, Gran. Don't get angry. It's not good for you. The woman I asked about earlier. Forgive me, Gran, but this fellow absolutely must talk to the ladies. No. She's not allowed. Please, it's important. The fellow will be quiet. Gran, please hear me out. I found little Yagna when she got lost, did I not? Did I break Jenny's fever too? I did. I ask anything in return? No. Didn't even fuss about my stolen voice. Well, now I want something. Gran, help this fellow. Because otherwise he'll pester me day and night, even during potty time. His lass is missing. Perhaps the ladies can help find her, eh? Well, since you put it that way, Johnny, I'll help him. Come with me. Johnny's a good, good lad. Though the ladies don't like him. No. Foul creature, they say. Don't like him. Who are the women in the tapestry? Those are the ladies. Ladies, lovely. With power o'er all. Beseech I thee. Answer my call. Before you a worm crawls, wretched and small. How dare you disturb our rest, woman? Someone speaking through you? Good looking and clever, too. Where have you been hiding, boy? I'm looking for the woman with ashen hair. I know you met her. Where is she? Oh, he's impatient. Perhaps he only likes ashen haired girls. Young woman. She's my daughter by choice. I raised her. <laughs> if she's shapely, what does it matter? <laughs> Matters to me. I believe we've hit a nerve. She's bubbling like well-fed yeast. Oh, that's how I like Sam. It's clear you met her. Tell me everything. That was blunt. Well, perhaps it's for the best. Tell me, have you got bollocks? Do you fear woodland beasts? Oh, hard times are upon us, white-haired one. Brother has turned against brother. The land is soaked in blood. Evil reigns stronger than ever before. A dark power has surfaced near Down Warren. It feeds on hatred and disdain. Destroy the beast, and we will be grateful. Tell you all we know about this ashen haired maid. Dark power? You need a knight errant, or a witch hunter, not a witcher. The alderman of Down Warren will tell you all. Remember to collect payment from him after you complete your task. And now our servant will bring you the dagger. The dagger? What for? When the alderman sees this dagger, he'll know we sent you. He'll aid with all. I'll talk to the alderman, but I can't promise anything. Move, woman! Give the young man the dagger. 
And you, White One, return only once you've completed the task. Oh, you mistress, right. On me way. Dagger. Gotta bring the dagger. The dagger. For you. Lady told me to give it to you. Here it is. The dagger. Place the alderman's payment on the stone. Stone bear. Stone shear. Stone nose, stone ears. Was a wicked witch living in the Faster. Come on. village. Aye. A real pearl of the swamps. If you say so. You get by all right? Aye, winter to winter. Somehow we survive. Recognize this dagger? Aye, master. I didn't know you belonged to them. Don't belong to anyone. Down to business. I want to get this done quickly. Ah. So that's how it's to be. I'm supposed to help solve your problem. Tell me what it is. Just the essentials. The war awoke an ancient power. An evil one that feeds on bloodshed. Nightmares haunt our nights and days. Folks sleepwalk from their homes, never to return. Under the tree on the Whispering Hillock they lie. Unburied, all. Fathers, sons, daughters, and mothers. Folk are afeard to move them. You must go there. The dark powers must be cast off. Need more details. You must see for yourself. The Your grand's mum whacked me crosswise for straying near the Whispering Hillock. But what happens there now is a wonder. A few times folk from round here gathered to chop down the trees and burn the cursed soil back to use. None returned. The ground neath the weeds is white with human bones. When did all this start? Three year back. I remember, twas a warm day. Went to check the snares for gay. Pulled a hair from me trap. It grew dark all of a sudden, though it was nigh on noontime. Thought it was a storm at first. A squeal pierced the air, near burst me ears. The hair rotted in me hands, and the leaves shriveled and yellowed, though it were yet the start of summer. Times have been ill ever since. Folks' teeth turn black as charcoal. Women folk fight like polecats, bawling and brawling over nothing. The young'uns, born crippled, lame, fear and cursing. Long have we pled for the lady's help. Ladies of the wood don't know what this power is. They know all. Old Thecla claimed they'd be punishing us. Folks stop respecting them. Some even call them witches. But must not be they, for they sent you. I'll look around the Whispering Hillock. You be careful, Master Witcher. Don't ye treat this evil light.
and well traveled. So tell me, if you want to beat me, which one, sweet? We're off. Milk, freshly cooked. Show me what you sell.
Be gone. Come no closer. I know whence you come. The powers that protect me, they sense whence you come. Be gone. Come no closer. I know whence you come. The powers that protect me, they sense whence you come. Be gone. Not good. Be gone. Be gone. Be gone. Come no closer. I know whence you come. The powers that protect me, they sense whence you come.
Be gone. Come no closer. I know whence you come. Be gone. Come no closer. I know whence you come. Be gone. Be gone. Be gone. The powers will not relent. The powers that protect me, they sense whence you come. Something threatens the orphans, I'll help them myself. The children have been taken 
Freely, please. I come here, dear. A gallop unchained. I shall see them. Only I can. Why do you think the kids from the meadow are in danger? The sisters took them. They shall not return. Where'd they take them? I can help. It is done already. It cannot be undone. There are no rules to add ceremony. They shall all die. Let them be saved. The crowns. What do you know about them? The sisters are older than the oldest trees. Velen is their realm. All life here serves them. The sisters live concealed. You will not find them. They hear all. You cannot hide. If you can save the orphans from the meadow, I'll help you. I will find them. Free them. Open the door of my cage. Blood is my escape. A right you must perform. With the black of raven feathers, the white of my bones, and the swift steed, a mare wild and free, in meadows pasture court, dark as a bottomless well, black as the depths of night, such a beast, no other. Gather these, and bring them here. some raven feathers. Find my remains and bring me a mount. A wind-born steed, a black squall turned horse. Why do we need a black horse? The beast and I shall be as one. As when I lived, we shall be a gale. Nothing to stop us. A wild steed from meadows moist. Where will I find your remains? My bones, they lie in a solitary mound nearby, due west. I'll gather what I need to free you, then return. Gather and return to the hillock's depths, to the tree's rotten heart. Pierce my heart, let blood flow to be born again. I must first be consumed. Go now and return through the passage I have opened.
strange bones. Don't seem human to me. of power should draw from it. Come on. Hey, yeah. Get up. Master.
Run, Roach. Come on, Roach. Solved your problem. Just in case, though, avoid the Whispering Hillock for a while. Cannot be. Where's something lurking there? Not sure what was lurking there, but it lurks no more. What did you do, Witcher? Went up the hill, took care of the problem. The details are my concern. I truly said, I knows naught of such things anyway. The crones, or the ladies of the wood as you call them, said to remind you about payment. Take it you know what they want? Aye, I do. Give me the dagger. Be back soon. There's payment. Take it to the ladies, will you? What the hell was that? Tis our pact. Uh, you're a stranger. You don't know life here. It's honest pay for their protection. So, all those ears in the woods... Put it out your mind, master. You soon be leaving and we must tarry on. Our young'uns and their young'uns after them. No gods nor masters watch over Velen. The land is no man's. He who wants to survive... Must seek his own protectors. In real life, you're different than you were in the tapestry. Well, bring it here. Disobeyed us once more. We are forgiving creatures, but you, you allowed the children to escape. They never wanted to flee. They liked it here. They played. Your punishment must be harsh. Now silence! We must speak to the white-haired one. I know that, Mark. This is Anna, the wife of the Baron of Crow's Perch. She belongs to no man. A fruit ripened in her womb. A fruit sprouted from seed sown by a man she detested. We helped her. She agreed to serve. She bears the mark. She is ours. Come, 
It is another woman who interests you. Speak, white-haired one. You used me to tame the Whispering Hillock. A lot of work. Not free, brave soul. Did you destroy the evil powers? Have you brought peace to our domain? I freed the spirit trapped in the tree. Hear that, sisters? Traitor! She took the children, brought her! We made a deal. I was supposed to help the villagers. I held up my end of the bargain. They're safe now. So, a mockery you chose to outwit. What did you need the children for? We? We? They needed us? Our care. You exposed them to great danger! We cannot help them because of you! Leave it, sisters. Everything in its time. You looked different in the tapestry. We're all dressed up just for you. If you only knew how much time we spent in front of the glass. Do you desire us? I'm impressed. Polymorphism, a rare talent. Oh, I'd suck every last drop out of you. Ah, to be woven together with you? I'd be your best and last. Hmm, not what I came for. Our deal. I did my part, now you do yours. A word once given, we never break. The girl. Mousy blonde. That's what they call it. Thin as a rail. Terrified. Exhausted. She could barely stun the poor thing. We cared for her as best we could. Like she was our own daughter. Wasted affection. She proved a very naughty girl. Mischievous, stubborn, and selfish. Don't believe you. They say you always keep your word. So tell me everything, exactly as it happened. We shall tell you, brave boy. Someone's supposed to We let beast in players saw the omens. We would glimpse her likeness, a mirage in a puddle. She came from the lower swamp. We knew not at first it was her the omens had spoken of. A child of the elder blood. The soul seemed that would burst into flame. Oh, 
You'll regret that girl. Regret it dearly. Tried to kill her. Tried to butcher her like an animal and eat her. Her blood. The taste brought back memories of our youth. Elder blood. Extraordinary girl. But you know that. Such a shame she fled. She escaped you, but I'll find her. We'll come back here together and kill you. Your return, you shall. Our fates are bound. And one will die. But it shan't be one of us. Now you shall chase shadows and wander midst fog. Each time you see her, she will be a mirage. And if you find her, if the girl will die, you and some light. <laughs> 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 